Hello language learners, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be useful for you if that's your first, second, third or whatever foreign language. It's no matter if you're learning it with a teacher or completely by yourself. It's also not important if you're a beginner, intermediate or close to advanced level. Those tips and techniques how to memorize new words and vocabulary will be useful for you. And the best thing? You can apply to any language. Really, any. So, let's start. My first advice. Learn phrases, not words. Put your target word, the word that you want to learn, into the context, into the surrounding, in the sentence or in a paragraph or create a story. I will give you an example. Let's say you want to learn the word pillow in whatever language you learn. Just don't try to memorize it by repeating to yourself. Pillow, pillow, this is a pillow. Put it into the sentence. Create the sentence yourself. You can use something really simple like Oh, I like this new white pillow. Or you can make something more complicated but more memorable for yourself. For example, oh, this old pillow. I hate this old pillow. It's so uncomfortable to sleep on it. And here, just the limit is your imagination. And sometimes you don't create the context yourself. Sometimes you just find the word in a context. Let's say you watch a TV series in English, or a film, or you read a book, or you listen to a podcast. Let's say you're watching a YouTube video on your target language, and there you hear a story. Let's imagine the story goes like this. Oh yeah, and by the way, I was in the gift shop yesterday. I wanted to buy a present for my friend, and I bought a really nice plant for her. And then, and then I saw this fantastic map, and I thought, that would fit so good into my room, on my wall, and I just bought it for myself. So the target word in this story was a map, and let's imagine you did not know this word, and to remember it, you just try to remember the story, the context, the, this gift shop, birthday story, and then when you need to use this, this will pop up in your head. Try this, that's really helpful. Or what works really good for me is TV series, because you have this emotional attitude to the heroes and to their stories and to their personalities. And then, if you just encounter the word that you did not know, you will remember it better. I will give you an example. <laughs> It's like a baby caterpillar chasing its mama. Right, you gotta help me out, okay? Imagine you did not know the word caterpillar before and you looked it up in the dictionary. I bet after this scene you'll remember it without any repetitions. My second advice. Try to put the new words into practice. How to do it? Let's imagine you have a lesson, the private lesson with your tutor or the group lesson and many times you have different discussions and talking times. You just, before the lesson, you write down the words, the target words that were new for you from your homework or you just heard them or read them somewhere. You write them down in your textbook and you can make a small game out of it. You ask yourself, can I use those 10 new words during this lesson? And then you try to do it. You try just to put those words in the sentences and phrases you used during the lesson. And when you manage to do that, put a tick there. And then at the end of the lesson, if you got all 10 words used, congratulations, you already put them into practice. Next time, it will be easier for you to use them without looking into your textbook. But in the beginning of this video, I told you that you can use those tips and techniques even without a teacher. If you don't have a teacher, use your friend. If your friend speaks your target language, just try to do the same, to put those new words, phrases into the conversation with your friend. 
If you don't have a friend who speaks your target language, nowadays it's not a problem, we have internet. So you can use italki or other websites that can help you to find a language partner. And then you do the same, just put those new words into practice. But I also know that many people are shy about using foreign language when they don't speak good enough. Then just make a video. Make a video of yourself telling a story. It can be the simplest story ever, but remember to use our target words that we want to learn. Oh, and by the way, it can help you just to improve your pronunciation and your gestures and the speed and just in general they can help you to feel more confident with your foreign language. Advice number three, draw a picture. No matter if you can draw good or not so good, really no matter, just draw something. It can be an action picture with uh, people and animals or it can be just an object that you're trying to remember or just your association with this word. The most important part, keep the word in your mind try to pronounce it aloud while drawing. It's really useful, I use it both for myself when I learn new words and with my students. Once I watched a TED talk video where one man was explaining how to draw pictures just in some seconds, uh, there were mainly faces. And in my mind that's really genius, just watching this short video you can learn how to do it and use it for learning foreign languages. If you're interested, I will put a link below it's really worth it. Tip number four, stay curious and ask questions. It's just incredible for your language learning experience if you have a native speaker of your target language or just someone who speaks this language good enough to answer your questions. And your job? Ask questions, don't be afraid. What does this one mean? Is this one a synonym of that word? Is that correct? How should I pronounce this one? and so on. And don't be afraid to repeat your questions because this is the process of learning. Scientists say you need to hear the word approximately 20 times, a new word to remember it. But I bet if you not only hear it 20 times, but also repeat it and put it into the context and draw a picture, it will take less than 20 times for you. Many times people ask me, Hmm, what do you think? What sources are the most useful for learners of English many times, but any language? I heard it's good to listen more, or others say, I heard it's better to read more, or hmm, watching films is supposed to be really useful. Yeah, all of them are really useful. So my answer is always combination. And this is the tip number five. Try to surround yourself with a language. Try to read more, watch more, listen more. Just make a post-it notes for yourself and just put them everywhere where you can see them several times a day, near your working desk or on your fridge. All the places are good, you can decide yourself. And that will not only help you to learn these new words and phrases, but also, it will be a small reminder for you. This is your goal. You want to learn a foreign language. You should put an effort into that. We people always need reminders. And I also want to recommend you some sources that I really like. The first one is a podcast. It's a coffee break podcast. They have a lot of languages. I myself listen to a coffee break Spanish when I learn Spanish. And now I'm finishing the second season of coffee break German. And it's just incredible. You can listen to it on the way, in your car, before going to bed. The podcast is in English and there you will encounter a lot of dialogues, a lot of situations with explanations of grammar, new vocabulary, useful words. I think it's really a great source. For learners of German, Deutsche Welle. They have a lot of different courses for different levels, different purposes, different interests. I myself watch uh, Nico Speck there and uh, it's very useful and helpful and it's easy to use. The episodes are short, they are 2-3 minutes long, sometimes even shorter, but after the episode you get the explanation of the new vocabulary, new grammar topics and you can put them already there on their website into practice. They also have an app. 
and how I watch those episodes. I watch it for the first time, just trying to listen and absorb, then I watch it and I also read the subtitles to get some things that I didn't get in the, in the beginning, and then I do all the exercises, uh, grammar, vocabulary, everything, and then I watch it one more time. And I got this idea just last week and I haven't tried it yet, but I want to watch those episodes and then retell them to my husband, who is a native German speaker. This way I can practice my speaking and put in new vocabulary and grammar into practice. I will tell you later how did it work for me. I myself watched a lot of videos about tips and techniques of learning foreign languages in general and I also read a lot of articles and some books about it and I learned a lot from all those people and now I want to do the same for you. I want to share some knowledge that I have, some experience. I hope you can get something interesting and useful for yourself from this video or you can get a reminder of some tips that you heard somewhere else. If there are any language learning techniques that you absolutely love and you want to share them with us, that would be great. Just write them down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss my new videos about not only language learning, but also comparing different languages. That's it for now. Learn foreign languages and see you next time.